Well, good morning. I am Dr. John Scavone, Chief of Anesthesia at the Shriners Hospital for Children, Northern California, which is here in Sacramento. And uh, this is a 100% pediatric hospital where we perform about 2,500 surgical cases a year. And uh, th these cases can vary in range from very involved spine fusion surgeries to burn surgeries to very involved plastic surgeries, uh, all, all manner and form of orthopedic, uh, pediatric, surgical ex explorations. So it's a very, very involved practice. There's a lot of criticality here. And uh, that then segues into um, a discussion about safety. And really, that's, that's what I want to talk about a little bit this morning. I want to talk about safety. Now, the Joint Commission and other agencies like the Institute for Safe Medication Practices and, um, good gosh, um, it, many, many different agencies are, are talking about the, the safety of parenteral medications, which require that we identify the medication for the right patient at the right time. And this begins when we draw up a parental medication that we have to label it correctly. And the, the, the elements that go onto the label are, are really, are, is really quite a burden. It requires the name of the drug, the concentration of the drug, when it was drawn up, when it expires, and who drew it up. Now, at one point in time, I would say that anesthesiologists, we, we got into the labeling business, or, you know, sort of the, the manual labeling business. And unfortunately, we don't even have it up here, but we would take a label affix it to the syringe, and um, our performance in putting all of those required entities onto the, lab onto the syringe would be, might not be 100%. And then that gets into safety, because if we're not labeling the syringe correctly, and we're not watching what we're doing, and if we're transposing syringes, then we have risk. Now, this device over here, which is manufactured by Codonics, and, and really, I don't work for the company, I don't have any investment in this company. This is an absolutely brilliant device. I understand it was invented by an anesthesiologist uh, in, in, at Harvard. And this device, it's, it, it's called the label, labeler, but it's a lot more than that. That, uh, that, that and in a way, that's, it, is what, it is that, but it is so much more than that. And really what this thing is, is a safety device. And what it allows the anesthesiologist to do is to be absolutely certain that whatever drug, he's, whatever drug he's drawn up or she's drawn up, he, she knows exactly what it is. And I'm going to illustrate that. I'm going to open up the card here. We, got, we have these things locked. And, I'm, and this is our drug drawer right here. And when an anesthesiologist draws up a medication, they want to make sure that they're drawing up that medication and no other one because this, this could be unsafe. And a lot of the medications are in look-alike vials. And we actually have a couple here. That, that are like that. So I'm going to bring those out, and here you have it. Now, we use dexamethasone, which is a, a powerful steroid, frequently in, in this practice of anesthesia nationwide to prevent, it helps prevent nausea and vomiting. So here it is. And then we also use the drug Keturolac, which is a non-steroidal like Motrin, to prevent pain. Now, in some patients, you, it's not correct to give the patient Keturolac because it can cause inhibition of platelets and it could cause some bleeding or it could cause delay of bone healing in some orthopedic procedure. So if you're doing an orthopedic case, it may be that the, the orthopedic surgeon does not want you to give Keturolac. It could actually be deleterious to the patient and their healing. So I go to draw up a medication and I don't, I want to give dexamethasone, but I don't want to give ketorolac. Now, if I take, you look at these medications right here, and they're both in brown vials, and if I'm under stress and in a hurry, and I'm tired, let's say it's 2 in the morning, or whatever the situation might be, maybe my wife um, has been calling me and there's an issue. At any rate, um, and I'm in a hurry, then I, as a human being, can make a mistake. Now, I've been practicing anesthesia since 1976, so I'm almost 40 years into this. 
I can make a mistake. And I think it's a fundamental thing to understand. We can, we're humans who we can make a mistake. And this takes that mistake business right out of there. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here, we, I, 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 think, I think I've got dexamethasone. And I can reach back here and I go like this and I, 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 I kind of read it, but I'm in a hurry, you know, there's, there's surgeons asking to give the drug or whatever. And I pass this under here. And my little friend in here says, wait, Ketorolac, she's talking to me. I've, I've actually brought, brought up the wrong medication, which this is good because now I'm alerted to that. So we're just going to set that aside and we're going to put that over here. We're going to put this back in the drawer where it belongs and go, oh, well, okay, now I've been alerted that what I did was not correct. Now I'm going to take this file, pass it under there, and listen to my little friend in here. Dexamethasone. Dexamethasone. Okay. And now a label will be produced. This label shows the drug, its concentration, when we drew it up, when it expired, and who drew it up. All the labels that are required by the Joint Commission. But more importantly, what's required for safety. All right. Now, and we're going to use this later, so this is not wasting a drug. We're going to do a case in here. So th this is real. We're going to use dexamethasone today in this room. So this is not wasteful. So we'll take uh, our chloroprep. We'll take off the cap. And now we will draw up the medication. OK, so now what we have here now is we have dexamethasone. We can compare that to the drug right here. And we affix the label to the syringe. And I have total confidence, and this is the key, I have total confidence that the solution that's in here is, in fact, dexamethasone. That confidence is, is huge. And it reduces error, and it reduces the stress on the anesthesiologist, and it it is additive to patient care. I will mention a case that I'm aware of. I won't cite the hospital, but I will tell you that an anesthesia provider in the United States of America drew up a drug. He, he thought he was drawing up the drug neostigmine, but, was, but in fact drew up the drug neosinephrine. Administered it to the patient there was a disaster and, and, and the patient succumbed. That could have been prevented, absolutely prevented, by this device. Now, it's interesting you guys came today, an individual who's chief of one of our local hospitals, one of my former residents came to see me. Just, we, we had some other business to attend. He came in the operating room. And he said to me, John, what's this? He hadn't seen it. And I went and said, well, oh, this, let, me, let me talk to you about this. And he said, oh, this is easy. I'm going back to my hospital. I'm going back to my CEO. We've got to have this thing in every operating room. It, I had a five-minute conversation with him, and he could see at that point the value of this thing in terms of safety. So I, I want to, e even though th it's a nice-looking machine and, and Kodonics is a wonderful company, and this is a labeler, this is really most properly a safety device. It is a major, in my view, it a major advancement in medicine it's quick, it's easy, and I gotta tell you, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do anesthesia without this. Now I find, if this thing is, is not operating, you know, or did we, we have a power failure or whatever, I don't wanna be using labels, you know, manual labels, absolutely not. This is a wonderful device, um, very, very happy with it. It's easy to use, that's it. I, I do believe that this device I do believe it belongs in every OR, and I do because it is an ultimate safety device. It allows us to correctly identify medications, and to the extent that we then have to give them to patients, it's extraordinarily important. And it, it, something is, is either safe or it's not, and this makes the anesthesia process safe, and I'm a proponent of this, and this is in, consistent with the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation, who a number of years ago in their, in their bulletin said, this is the type of thing that we need in our operating rooms. So I, I can't extol the virtues of this thing enough. 
This is a safety device. Just like, for example, when we give an anesthetic, we need to monitor inspired oxygen and expired entitled uh, CO2. It's necessary. It's required. It's, to me, it's not optional. It, the, these safety things are not optional. And when we get into aviation, when we identify something that's safety and we need it, you got to have it. You, you can't fly without it. Same deal here. It's no different. It's a fabulous device. 